Greetings, friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder. Marketing master Jim Ackerman here, and this is Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads, the first and only two-way interactive YouTube program for business building that helps you build your advertising skills so you can get more customers who will pay you more money more often, the fastest, easiest, most cost-effective ways possible. This is your first visit to the program, and here's how it works. In each episode, we present to you an advertising specimen and give you one week to examine that specimen, look it over, and decide whether you think it is good, bad, or ugly from a marketing point of view. In other words, does it sell the product or get the customer to take the next step in the buying process? Now, you have your week to critique it, and in the following episode, I re-show you the same specimen, give you my take, whether I think it was good, bad, or ugly, and show you the next week's specimen so you can have another crack at it. Together, we build those marketing skills and our ability to uh, have more effective advertising. Now, without further ado then, let's take a look at last episode's specimen, and here it is. This again is a simple number 10 envelope, and it has the name looks like it's typewritten across the face of the envelope. There is no return address and no teaser copy. So the problems with the envelope are bad enough to make this entire effort unfortunately bad, but let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. When we pull out the contents, what we see is a what appears to be a tear out of a full page newspaper ad. Of course this was printed this way, it isn't a real newspaper ad, even though it's meant to look like it because they've got stock quotes on the back. There is a uh, post-it note that says, James thought you'd be interested, Jay. Well, I don't know who Jay is and he knows it, or she, whoever this happens to be. I find this kind of a thing condescending, uh, kind of an insult to my intelligence. It would be fine if he said, thought you'd be interested, John Smith, and gives, g actually gave his name in the case. Nevertheless, if you remove the stick it note and take a look at the ad, it's not a bad ad. It has a nice uh, headline to it with a snipe that says, free book reveals, okay, there's your offer, free book, retirement secrets of how to avoid being forced to work forever because of the economic meltdown. And then uh, it looks like it's actually a newspaper story because it's got by Steve Williams staff writer on there. So they're doing everything they can to make you believe it's an actual tear out from the newspaper. There's a lot of copy there and because people don't read newspapers anymore it's questionable whether they would go ahead and read this except if the headline is powerful enough to suck them into the body copy, it's at least got a chance. It's got a number of problems from a layout perspective that they uh, went ahead and did because it made it look like a newspaper ad that I don't think were necessary. Newspaper ad columns are all set, justified, left and right. It's easier to read, however, if you just left justify and leave the right side of the column ragged right. They don't use many bolds or indents to pull your eyes through the copy and I think that's a mistake. They do have an illustration of the book cover with a caption underneath of it and ultimately the call to action is to receive your free copy of this eye-opening book just call our automated toll-free hotline now at 1-800-210-1619. The book and call are free. Remember, automated toll-free line, that's a very important and positive thing about this, is you can say, okay, it's an automated line, meaning you're not gonna talk to a live operator, they're gonna take your order in an automated way, you know you're not gonna be sold something on the spot. You are, of course, going to give them your name and contact information and because you sent for the book your, your physical address so that they're going to be able to do additional marketing to you in the future. Again, this is a rehash of a tried and true marketing technique or gimmick from the past 
that I don't think is anywhere near as effective as it once was because of what's happened in the newspaper world and because, frankly, of some of the execution here. Would have been a much better piece if, in addition to the mail, uh, the uh, newspaper article, it would have included some kind of a sales letter. So, when you take the poor envelope and the problems or flaws in the newspaper article, despite the fact that there are some positives, the marketing masters take, this one's ugly. Now, let's talk about next week's specimen. As you can see, this also is a number 10 envelope, but it has a couple of characteristics that are different from the last one that I'm going to point out. From the desk of Lavelle Edwards, and for people all across the country and the world, you should know that uh, Lavelle Edwards was a famous football coach for Brigham Young University some time ago. And then it does have the teaser copy, Personal Invitation, above the address. And the address says, James Ackerman or current resident and the address. So that's the envelope and that's where we're starting with this one. But what about what goes on inside the envelope? We pull it out and it is once again a single sheet of paper printed on just one side. You'll notice that at the top left there is a uh, logo for the company and to the right of that, a photograph of Lavelle Edwards, the football coach, with a quote from him that says, I strongly encourage you to call accurate hearing. I am glad I did. They have helped me and my family for years. They can help you as well. Signed, Lavelle Edwards. Then it goes into a discussion of a limited opportunity for just 30 people to try a new kind of hearing aid technology and the call to action is for folks to make a phone call to RSVP. Go ahead and take a look at this and you have one week to decide whether it's good, bad, or ugly. Leave your comments below, even do a video response if you'd like to, and don't forget to subscribe to the Good, Bad, and Ugly channel. Tell your friends about it so that they'll subscribe too, and of course, like us, as always. One other thing, how about you submitting an ad for us to critique? It could be your ad, it could be somebody else's ad, but an ad you find interesting, whether you think it's good, bad, or ugly. Go ahead and make a video and submit it in the comments below, and we'll put it out to the universe and see what they think, just before I tell you what I, the marketing master, think, whether it's good, bad, or ugly. And that's what you get right here on Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads.